Hello, I'm Greg Lamb, the Small Biz Doer. As part of the Cloud Accountant Comparison Series I write and produce for the Sleater Group, today I'm reviewing Wave Accountant's new reconciliation feature. This is big news for me, since I've been on Wave's case for close to two years now about giving users a way to do a reconciliation. Let's dig into the details. The first thing you have to know, especially if you're not a Wave user, is that a main part of Wave is its transaction screen. This is where most transactions in Wave can be found. And it's also where we can perform a reconciliation. Another thing you should know is that when we import transactions, whether via a bank feed or a manual upload of a bank statement file, they are entered here. If we have manually entered the transaction into Wave beforehand, we often end up with duplicate transactions that need to be merged, like these ones. Sometimes Wave does auto-merge these, but in my tests, most of the time I've needed to manually merge them. To merge, I check both transactions, scroll up, and click on Merge. But I'm not going to dig any deeper into the matching and categorization of transactions. Instead, I'm assuming that this process has already been done, and now our goal is to verify the transactions. To verify, Wave has this check mark. Verified. 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 I know you're a keen observer and must have noticed these transactions disappear. But they're not gone. We simply need to toggle the view to see them again. If we scroll up and change the status to All, we can see all verified and unverified transactions. So let's continue verifying. If you're a speed demon like me and love to click away, you may have transactions come back to haunt you. Wave calls these ghost transactions. It's an additional verification layer to make sure you're really paying attention. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just joking. Just don't click too fast, okay? If you're a fast clicker, what you can do is actually check the check marks on the side, then scroll up and hit the verify button. Once transactions are verified, we may think our job is complete, but verification is only part of the reconciliation process. If we now filter the view to only show our bank account, we'll enter a more reconciliation-like view. So I'll change this account view to bank account. Now we'll have an opportunity to enter in an end in balance. Something that tripped me up at first was the date. I want to enter in a balance as of March 31st, 2013, not February 21st, 2014. I know, I know, I'm living in the past by like a year, but stick with me. To change this date, we need to use the filters. I'll change the to date to March 31st, 2013. And I'll change the from date to March 1st, 2013. So I'll need to retype in the end in balance since I changed the date. All right. Now that we have the dates and end in balance in place, we can see the transactions. What's unique to this reconciliation view is that we can check the balance of the bank account after every transaction. If a transaction is not verified, it won't affect the balance. See? Unverified, unverified, and now the balance changes. A concern of mine in this view is what about verified transactions that are uncleared, like a check that was written but not cashed, or an expense paid with a credit card that hasn't been posted yet. Well, we can actually drag the transactions to a different position. Doing this will change the date and unverify the transaction. So be careful. Changing the dates can change the period that income, expenses, and sales taxes fall within, which can mess up with reporting. Let's finish moving transactions. Okay, now all the transactions are good. If we go up to the top, we can now see the verified balance. And if we click on the box, we'll get the details of withdrawals and deposits. If there's a difference between the verified balance and the end in balance, it'll be displayed in this difference box, which we can also click on to get some more details. One thing I wondered about was can reconciliations be saved? If we go to a different date, we'll see that the end in balance is cleared. But if we go back to our March 31st date, the end in balance we entered previously is there. So it is saved in a sense, but there are no reconciliation reports or anything like that though. Overall, I'm happy with the work Wave has done with this feature. It's a much needed improvement and something that allows me to now recommend Wave as fully functional accountant software, which is my awkward way of saying that I'd recommend its use as accountant software for small businesses. Can this transaction page be improved? Yes. I wish there was better matching algorithms, more control over automation, and more flexibility in which accounts can be used. However, I do have to give credit where credit is due and commend Wave on finally giving us a way 
to reconcile our books. Wave, keep up the good work. If you'd like to read this article and much more great content, please visit the QuickBooks and Beyond blog at slater.com slash blog. All right, this is Greg Lamb, the Small Biz Doer, signing out. Catch you on the flip side.